it's Nina the baby chick thanks so much for joining today I had written actually yesterday a note that today we're gonna be talking about baby wearing and specifically there's so many different types of ways to wear your baby and specifically today we're gonna to be talking about how to wear your newborn so there's different types of carriers and different ways to wear your baby um, when they're a newborn to three plus months old to toddlerhood um, so today I have my sweet nephew here and he's gonna be my perfect little model and I'm gonna show you how you can wear your baby with a wrap there's like I said so many different uh, carriers out there on the market so today I'm gonna show you how to do like a typical wrap as well as a baby Catan and probably in another video we're gonna show you how to use a structured carrier as well as a ring sling and there's so many different options but I'm really excited if you guys have any comments or questions throughout this video of am I doing this right or what should I be looking for things like that please add a comment um, Mary Alice our awesome uh, baby chick team member is uh, taking this video so she'll make sure to read them out loud as they come so we might as well get started you ready perfect awesome okay so today I have a I borrowed this from my sister-in-law she's the best <laughs> it's her Solly wrap and a lot of people get a little intimidated when they open a Moby or a Solly wrap or any type of wrap carrier kind of like this because it's a lot of fabric and I get it, it's a little intimidating, but it doesn't have to be, I promise. So when you have your wrap, first thing you should do first is wash it. You should put it in the washer, make sure it's all ready to go. And once it's washed and ready to go, you are going to get it out. And this very long material, there is in the middle of it, a little tag. And that means this is the center of the whole wrap. So this is exactly what we need to find. And when you have this, this tag, you're gonna fold your wrap in half, long ways. So it's kind of like hot dog, you know, have hamburger, hot dog, we're folding it the hot dog way. So that way it's not as long or wide, I should say. And when you do this, you don't necessarily have to um, put it or fold it all the way out. It's just a little bit and I'll show you why um, to begin with. But before we get started, um, I should warn you, if you have any big earrings or big necklaces like myself, you should remove them because your little one will be tugging and pulling and that's not gonna be fun for you. Even hair, I will say sometimes they'll pull your hair. I should probably even put my hair up, but I don't have a hair tie, so we're work you're working with me, you get it. So anyway. Um, also, I want to talk to you about the benefits of baby wearing. Baby wearing is so great. Um, when you're baby wearing your newborn, there's so many different benefits. And the great thing is, it's not just something that mom can do with her baby. It's something that your partner can do, grandparents can do, babysitters, um, so many wonderful things. So the first thing that I found out recently and was pretty surprised by is that there's a study out there that stated that if you wear your baby three hours a day, it actually will decrease your baby's amount of crying by 43% compared to the average baby. 43%, that's pretty awesome. I mean, I think all of us want a little bit of less crying throughout the day and the night. So another thing is when you're wearing your baby, you're really getting to know and be in tune with your baby and feeling a lot more confident as a parent because you're learning what these cues that they're giving you mean. So if they're making a certain noise or a grumble or making a face, or you feel them toot, you know exactly what it is that they need. And that's a huge reason why they are not crying as much because you're able to easily and quickly be able to meet their needs. So, um, and that's what's so great is that care, care providers, so grandparents and dad can really also learn about your baby so much more when they're baby wearing and feel a lot more confident. Uh, it's also been proven to help with um, keeping their temperature regulated um, it's helped with uh, their their breathing and their heartbeats to regulate with yours, whoever uh, is wearing the baby. And that just makes for an overall healthier baby. So for less crying and a healthier baby and a more confident parent, I couldn't see why anyone wouldn't want a baby wear. So again, we're gonna start with a baby wrap. 
So I recommend get yours out if you have one. You ready? Awesome. So like I said, you're gonna fold it like the hot dog way because it was long, fold it in half. And that tag is the center, like I had said before. And when you have that tag, you're gonna put this right at your navel. Not, not literally the tag at the navel um, because that's too low because this is where baby is gonna sit. And whenever you're doing baby wearing, you wanna make sure that baby is visible and kissable. So you want baby high, not too high, but high enough that you can see and make sure that baby is breathing well and their air passage isn't closed, things like that, which I'll show you in a little bit. So put this at your navel, pull the two um, apart. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cross these in the back. So when you cross these, you're gonna pull this over one shoulder and then pull this over the other shoulder. See what I did there? It's a nice X in the on my back. And the reason why we also did the folding in half, when you have a newborn, it's really important that they sit in a pocket of your baby wrapping setup. So when you have that, there should be this kind of crease and this fold on this side as well as here. So it creates a pocket for your little one. Now, what I recommend is if you are right-handed to put the left side in first, and if you are um, left-handed, put it the right side in first, because um, that's what we're gonna do next. So I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna put this left side in under what I call, I actually call this like the seatbelt. This is kind of hoists everything in there for your little one. So I put the left side in first, Again, making sure I have access to that pocket. And then I put the right side in. And I love how my nephew is just behaving beautifully. I swear, like I paid him to do this. So he's, he's just perfect. Awesome. Once you get that, and you wanna make sure that you have you know good support on your shoulders, okay? And if you need to tighten it up, you'll want to kind of pull on this to make sure you don't want this super tight. Remember, you have to fit a baby in there, but you don't want it really, really loose. This is too loose. So because of that, I would want to pull on these a little bit to cinch in my seatbelt, all right? Once you have that crossed underneath your seatbelt, then you're gonna cross behind you. And I didn't just have a baby, so, you know, a lot of moms need to tie it immediately behind, but I do have some extra slack, so I can put it in front and tie it here. Nina, Jody wanted to know what kind of wrap this is. Ah, oh, great question, Jody. This is a Solly wrap. I love this wrap. It's so soft, comfortable, breathable. Um, I highly recommend it. And it's also a little longer than some of the other ones that are like this. And so like Nina could wrap it all the way to the front and um, some of the other long wraps like this, you can't wrap you around can't as wrap many times. Yeah. yeah. And for, for women who are bustier or just full figured, it's nice to be able to have a longer wrap. So literally you can have your husband wear this or grandma or anyone. Um, whereas some other wraps, it's only, it's not one size fits all. So anyway, um, great question. Thanks, Jody. Um, we're gonna have everything all ready to go. Our seat belts, I have this little guy, perfect. All right, now all we need is a baby, which I have right here. <laughs> hey, baby boy. Oh, I startled you. Hi, hi, oh. All right, this is my sweet nephew. Say hello to everybody. Hi, world. <laughs> I know, he gets upset at me, I'm sorry guys. So because I'm right-handed, um, again, I'm gonna put him on the right side of uh, my body because I'm gonna get him on the left side of our wrap. Because if I did it on the right side first, I wouldn't be able to get him in on the left of my wrap. Hi, nobody. Okay, so what we do is we find that pocket. So I'm gonna open this pocket up because there should be fabric between me and baby, all right? So I'm gonna kind of sit him in. Oh, but don't go anywhere. I know I'm messing with you. Perfect. Hi. You see how there's like fabric in between me and him? 
and then the right side goes over his little tush as well. I know. I'm messing with you. I'm sorry. And their hands should always be in the wrap, okay? I know. See the hair thing, I told you, you gotta be careful. So hands in. And this is for a newborn. This is for a newborn, yes. Not for a toddler, because <laughs> this little guy is only a month old. So you're so proud of him. And whenever you're doing this, it should always reach the nape of their neck. It shouldn't be really low. And what you do after this is you get your seatbelt and pull it on up. Hi, baby. And that's how you do baby wearing on a wrap. Look at that. So nice. And he's, he's passed out. Pretty comfortable. If you're also maybe in public and you don't want um, people kind of coming up and checking out your baby, I just get the seatbelt and really cover them. Um, so then it's just a little bit more secretive and that actually gives him a lot more head um, and neck support as well as he takes a nice little nap. But again, I, I always wanna make sure, this is the froggy position. Normally, if they are older, you always want their knees higher than their hips because we wanna make sure that we're taking good care of their hips because if it's what I call like a crotch dangler, just like a wrap that's having their legs hang out on both sides, that's really bad and can cause hip dysplasia, which we really wanna be careful with. So um, with an, a regular wrap, it's always knees above their bum, their bottom, and, um, and then for a newborn like this, it's froggy or like a fetal position. So he is happy as can be. And again, baby should be visible. I can see how he's doing. I can see that he's breathing. I can hear him and, he, uh, and he's kissable. So he, if he's any lower, if I cannot really see what's going on or hear him and I'm not able to kiss his forehead easily, I shouldn't have to reach it down too far, then um, it's, you need to redo it and probably tighten up a little bit. But isn't this great? Now I can like, you know, do so many activities, so many cool things with my little one. And if he ever needs anything, it's super, um, super easy and helpful. Um, also breastfeeding mamas. This is really awesome for uh, women who are breastfeeding. You can just easily kind of undo this, loosen it a little bit and be able to, um, be able to uh, breastfeed discreetly, which is really nice as well. But anyway, I think, I think my nephew really likes it. I don't know. So one more time, this is a Solly baby wrap spelled S-O-L-L-Y, but you use the same technique for any kind of long wrap, like a Absolutely. Moby or a Boba. Yes. Um, Cassandra wants to know what you would suggest for a six to 12 month old. Oh gosh, Cassandra, there's so many great, so many great wraps out there. It really depends. Um, for a six month, oh gosh, for a six month old, I really like a ring sling. That's me personally, um, which we can do um, another video in the future using a ring sling because babies at six months old, they'll be able to, you know, hold up their head, have more support. Whereas this, this little guy, he doesn't have as much head and neck control. So we have to be able to support him with a wrap. Um, so he wouldn't be a good candidate. Well, he could do a ring sling, but I, I really prefer a wrap at this point. But for a six month old, I love a good ring sling as well as a structured carrier. I feel like dads feel a lot more comfortable when there's snaps and clips and he doesn't feel too too wrapped up get it um <laughs> so so yeah so if you have um a bit more structured uh, uh wrap maybe like there's so many out there a uh, lilla baby ergo baby um you name it uh great wraps out there that are carriers out there that you can get so great questions thanks ladies so a lot of people are then kind of intimidated all right how do you get the baby out? Ah, so, cause this little guy is so happy. Why would I want to take him out? Well, you know, it's kind of important. Also, I didn't even mention, um, baby wearing is great if your baby is maybe starting to get a flat spot um, on their head from being put down too much, um, you know, or sleeping on one side of uh, their head uh, too often can create um, a, flat, a flat spot on their head. So by wearing your baby, it's definitely helping with their head shape. Um, so another great reason to baby wear. So if you're ready to get baby out, 
you just pull down your seatbelt. Slowly move one side. And then all I do is reach under his little arms. Oh, my baby. Hi. <laughs> and then I can put him down. Oh, good boy. Awesome. And that's how you do um, with pretty much any, any wrap. So the next thing I'm going to show you is if this is really intimidating for you guys, this long thing that you got to tie and I don't know how to do it and, and uh, this is too loose or too tight or my baby's freaking out, which I will say if you, if this is the first time that you are wearing your baby, your baby will be a little bit fussy because your baby's not used to it. It's something new and something different and they'll be like, what is this? But after a while of you holding and, and slowly rocking, your baby will be like, ah, oh, this is nice. This is very similar to what it was like in the womb. I can hear her heart, I can hear her breath, I can smell her, I'm close, I feel like I'm being held. But mom feels great because she's able to get things done uh, that she wants to as well. So anyway, the other thing, if that really long wrap is intimidating, I recommend getting a baby tan. So I love this baby Catan because um, I'm in Texas, so I got this great lightweight material because it gets hot in here. Um, I mean, it was like 72 degrees outside um, and it's January. Uh, so <laughs> imagine what it's like in our, our summertime. It's, it's not fun. So anyway, I love Texas, don't get me wrong. So anyway, um, when you have a baby Catan, there are essentially like these two loops and this one piece of material um, holding the two loops together. So this is pretty easy. What you'll do is you'll get this one loop that's holding these two larger loops together and you're gonna put it right around your neck, right at the base of your neck, okay? And then what you'll do is you separate the two loops, pull them through, And you can kind of see how it's already starting to emulate the, the wrap, right? So what I do is I make sure I have a good pocket for my baby and the other pocket is ready to go as well. All right, and if you feel like it's not supported enough, you can grab your back loop and pull it down to create more of a tightness in the front, okay? So, all right, now we just gotta get baby. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Ugh. Hi. So again, because I am right-handed, I'm gonna put him on the right side of my body. Get this left side pocket ready. I know, I'm messing with you. And put his feet and bum in this pocket. I know. Oh, you've got my hair, I know. And then we get the other pocket ready as well. Perfect. And that simulates the same thing, but I don't have a seatbelt with this one, right? Yes, you do. So the bag that holds the baby Catan, actually if you flip it inside out, it becomes what I call that seatbelt. So you put it around your baby's bum, hoist them up, whoa, tighten, and then tie. And then once that's tied, I like to kind of make sure that everything is good to go. And then get that seatbelt nice and happy. So look at him. He's pretty good. He's a happy boy. Ina, can you remind us what kind of carrier this is? Absolutely. This is a baby Catan. And that's with a K apostrophe T-A-N. So I love this carrier because it's not as intimidating. It's easy to get to. Um, you're not having long material on the floor because you know when I'm going in the car hi hello um, when I'm getting you know in and out of the car and I don't want to have to hoist the car seat because gosh that's just really heavy on my arm I like to be able to baby wear and when I'm using one of the other wraps it gets all on the floor on the dirty floor so with this one I don't have to worry about that it's it's really nice so um, he seems pretty happy too. 
Ashley wants to know, she says she has a one month old and she feel like, she feels like um, her baby is getting really overheated in her boba wrap. And um, so what do you suggest for that? That's a great and question. she wants to know like what kind of fabrics you suggest. Yes. Um, I was going to say the boba is definitely a thicker fabric, much thicker fabric than what I was using with Asali. Even the Moby um, is a bit thicker of a fabric, which is not a bad thing because it does, it provides great support, but I feel you girl, here in Texas, I have to have a lighter fabric and that's why I chose the Sali because it is a much lighter, um, breathable fabric and so it makes it a lot easier um, for, for baby and me because they're little incubators, they keep you, they keep you toasty. So um, I definitely recommend making sure that you pay extra attention to the type of fabric um, that your, your carrier is made in. So thank you for asking. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so when you're done with this, all you have to do is the exact same thing. Untie. Remove. You can flip this back inside out to the bag. Put in the little tassels. So Brandy says she has a four month old and she wants to know how you suggest wearing her. She says she likes to face outward and wants to see everything. Don't they all, when they get so curious, they wanna be able to see everything. I do still recommend at four months old still being inward facing. Um, but if they're absolutely insistent on looking outward, doing a hip, um, a hip placement, um, which we can do in another video, um, to be able to wear your baby on your hip, that way they can still have free range. They're still tummy to tummy with you, which is really important still at that young of age, um, but they still have the mobility to be able to look out and see what's going on with the world. Great question. Thanks, ladies. And then once we're done, oh, hi. Hello. Oh my goodness, my big boy. Hello. Oh. And then I put my baby down. Oh. All right, guys, and then it's as simple as, actually what you can do is just drop this. Voila, you're all done. And then you can place this back in your bag and cinch it up. If I can find the other cinch. There it is. And then tie it and put it in your diaper bag or under your, um, under your stroller. And the good thing is about these, as well, it also has a bag. So, and I'm pretty sure all of the wraps like this are actually, I'm lying, I don't think so. I think this is one of the only ones that does have a bag. So I think, um, here we go, and it's inside out. So there is this bag at the end. So then you can put all of this material in this bag, which is great. So I really do like this um, carrier. Once you learn it, you do, the one thing with this carrier is that once it, it's, you have to order a size. So it's not one size fits all. So if you have this, it's not like dad can wear it because this is a small. I would have to get a different size for my husband to wear. Um, whereas with this, it can be worn by anyone. It is a one size fits all. So um, that's one reason why I really like uh, this carrier. And actually I think I have it inside out because I wanted to show you this other cool thing about it. When you put all this in, there we go. There's actually a great little pocket on the bag. So this can be baby's pacifier, um, you know, just any kind of little lovey or your cell phone, um, something that you need to get to kind of in a hurry. It's really easy to be able to put right there. So I really like that it had that pocket and it makes it easy to be able to travel, throw it in your bag, throw it under uh, your stroller. It's good to go. Anyway, guys, there we have it. That's baby wearing for a newborn. So that's under three months with a wrap. A uh, different video will probably cover a a ring sling, uh, a structured carrier, as well as um, as well as doing toddler and older than um, older than infants. So I thank you so much for joining. If you have any other questions, please feel free to write in the comments below. I'll make sure to answer your questions in a bit. But it's been fun. Thanks so much. Have a great day.